everyone. I'm Miss Emma. I'm super excited that you are here and that you are spending some time with me today to improve your English. In this lesson, we are going to be doing speaking and listening skills practice. In particular, we are going to talk about TV programs. The learning objectives for our lesson today are Number one, to talk about your favourite TV show. Number two, to express opinion on TV and TV programmes. And number three, to identify gist and specific information from audio text. Before we continue, feel free to ask anyone around you, your mom, your dad, or your siblings to join you in this lesson so you can practice your speaking skill together. Are you ready? Let's begin. What genres of TV programs that you know? Sitcom, situation comedy, a funny show in which the same characters appear in each program in a different story. Cartoon, documentary, a program that, in, that gives information about a subject and is based on facts. The news, weather forecast, so opera, a series about the lives and problems of a particular group of characters. Chat show, game show, talent show, home decoration program, cooking program, sporting event, and film. Can you name other TV programs that you know? Among all of these TV programs, which one is your favourite? Are you ready to talk about it? Listen to this conversation between two friends. Hello, Linda. Hello, Emma. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hmm, I'm thinking of buying a new TV. Are you free tomorrow? Yes, we can go shopping tomorrow. Has your old TV gone out of order? It's an old model. I want a new LED TV now. For how many hours do you watch TV every day? For two hours only. Well, tell me. What do you love to watch? My favourite is Elite Travellers. You know, I love reality show. What about you? Hmm, actually, I watch a variety of programmes and channels. News, movies, music or sports. I think it depends on what mood I'm in and how tired I'm feeling. Okay, Emma, I will see you tomorrow. And we will talk more about our favourite TV programmes later. Okay, bye! Well, that's an example of how one talks about his or her favourite TV programmes. Have you ever told your friend about your favourite TV programme? Let's look at these five questions. Number one. What kind of thing do you watch? Number two, what is it about? Number three, who is in it? Number four, is it funny, exciting or original? And number five, where is it on? Could you answer these questions for yourself? We'll look at how to answer in a minute. First, let's check the meaning of the questions. What kind of thing do you watch? What is the name of the program and its genre? What is it about? You need to give a brief information about the show. Who is in it? 
fans asking about the actors. Probably asking whether the show has famous actors. Is it funny or exciting or original? Yes? No? Give a justification. And number five, where is it on? This question is asking about where you can see something. You can use the preposition on to talk about where or when a show is happening. Now, think about the first question. What kind of thing do you watch? You could answer this by saying, I mostly watch sitcom. I watch a mix of documentaries and cooking shows. I watch a bit of everything. What about you? How would you answer this question? Next, think of a show you really like. Look at these questions. What is it about? Who is in it? Is it funny or exciting or original? And where is it on? Can you make four sentences answering all these questions to talk about a show which you like? Let's see a sample answer. I'm watching a comedy drama called Kampung People. It's about Razif's family who used to live in the city but had to move to a rural area under witness protection program in order to protect their lives. The family had to disguise and convert their identity into, into villages. Ellie Maslin and Rashidi Ishaq are among the leading actors in the series. I think it's quite original. I enjoy watching the funny incidents that happened when the family tried to adapt to the situation in the village. It was aired on TV, but because I'm usually busy, I watch it online. So what about you? Try to make an answer like that, talking about a TV show you like. Use the questions to give your answer structure. Either write your answer down or say it out loud or do both. Now, let's move on to our next speaking activity. Take a look at these words and phrases. A variety of programs and channels. It means many different types of TV shows. Informative and educational programs. This refers to TV programs that provide useful knowledge or ideas to the audience. Fewer commercials. Just a small number of commercials. Well, you know what is commercial, right? It's an advertisement that is broadcast on television or radio. Show live events. It means the performance is broadcast, recorded or seen while it is happening. Show something at appropriate or inappropriate times. Is it being at on suitable or unsuitable times? Become tally addicts. If you say that someone is an addict, you mean that they like a particular activity very much and spend as much time doing it as they can. Low quality programs means that it has low level or standard. Opportunity for viewers to take a break and unwind, to relax and allow your mind to be free. And last one, become less active. You can use all these words and phrases in this discussion about TV programs. All right, now I'm going to give you some questions to initiate the discussion. Let's go through these questions. Can you make a 
any suggestions about how to improve TV? Do you have any ideas how to make the channels and programs better? What do you think of commercials? Are they useful? Do they influence you? You can talk about how commercials affect or change the way someone behaves or thinks. What are the advantages and disadvantages of watching TV? Think about the pros and cons. What would your life be like without TV? Can you live without TV? Can you survive? And last one, what do you think of reality TV? It's a television program about ordinary people who are filmed in real situations rather than actors. Let's watch a sample of discussion answering all of these questions. Take note on the use of words and phrases that we've learned earlier. I think that there should be fewer commercials. When too many are shown, people lose interest anyway. In my opinion, viewers should be provided with a larger selection of informative and educational programs. At the moment, there are too many low-quality programs. The television is a very important and popular means of communication, so it should not only entertain. Instead, it should help broaden people's minds and inform them about the world around them. It is also important that TV channels show programs at appropriate times because young children should not be exposed to material and information that is inappropriate for their age. Commercials can actually play an important role in informing consumers about new products, services and bargains. They also give viewers an opportunity to take a break when they are watching a film. Unfortunately, viewers are often shown so many commercials that they stop paying attention to them. Personally, if a commercial break interrupts a program I'm watching, I usually get up and do other things until the program comes back on again. I am only influenced by commercials if I am interested in buying a specific product or service. One of the advantages of watching TV is that you have access to a large variety of programs and channels. With satellite TV, an even larger variety is available, which means that there is always something interesting to watch. For this reason, it is a source of entertainment and an ideal way to take a break and unwind. Besides, it is also informative and educational. Not only does it inform us about what's happening both in our country and abroad, but it also shows us live events as they are happening. What about the disadvantages? Hmm, I think one of the most important disadvantages is that we become less active, both physically and mentally. Physical inactivity comes from spending too much time in front of a television, while mental inactivity comes from believing everything you see and hear on it. People who have become tally addicts are usually affected in this way. Yes, in addition to that, low-quality programs also have a negative effect on both moral and social standards as the language and behaviour is often inappropriate. It's easy for me to say that I would manage without it 
because we have other devices at home like computers and mobile phone that can help entertain and keep me informed. Computers and mobile phones have so many applications that we don't really need a TV. It's possible that we'll not need televisions at all in the future. I suppose that if these devices did not exist, I would appreciate the television more. I don't like it. However, I can understand why some people find it enjoyable. You see, human beings are curious by nature and reality TV satisfies their curiosity. I agree. Furthermore, people in urban environments are quite lonely and reality is about ordinary people who they can identify with. Others watch reality TV just for the fun of it. Well, how was the discussion? Do you realize that the people are using the phrases and sentences that we've learned just now in their dialogue? Could you do it? You can try to ask and answer the questions to your friend and see how it goes. Try as many times as you like. A few tips for you. When discussing a topic with someone, take turns to speak. Try not interrupt the other speaker frequently. If you need to interrupt, do it politely. You can say, Hold on, are you saying that? Could I say something before you continue? Or, sorry to interrupt, but... Next, I'm going to give you a short listening practice to complement the speaking activities that we have done so far. Listen to this commercial for an upcoming TV program. Identify what kind of program is it? Is it a talent show? A documentary? Or a game show? Let's listen. Listen. A. Listen to a commercial for an upcoming TV program. What kind of program is it? Unibattle is a brand new show coming to Channel 6. It's the ultimate intelligence test for higher education students. It takes teams from 16 major universities in the UK and matches them up in order to find the ultimate Unibattle champions. During each show, two teams of three battle it out, answering a series of increasingly difficult questions. The questions are specifically designed to test all areas of the student's intelligence. Unibattle is a 30-minute program, and at the end of each program, the teams have the opportunity to win £5,000. But that's not all. Every week, there is a live final where teams can win a trip to any city they wish. Competition is fierce, as every university wants to be crowned Unibattle champion. Starting next week, Unibattle will be broadcast on Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. Then on Friday nights, the excitement comes to boil with the Unibattle Live Special. Starting at 7 p.m., it's definitely worth watching. And if that's not enough, during each show, viewers will have the chance to take part and win cash prizes. All you have to do is answer the question of the day. Send an SMS or an email and you could win £1,000. Unibattle starts Monday at 6. Don't miss it. So, what kind of program did you just listen to? Yes, it's a game show. A game show is a television program where people score points by answering questions or doing things. What kind of game shows that you know? You are going to listen to the audio one more time. This time, you have to write down some information while you listen. Look at this form. Listen. A. 
Listen to a commercial for an upcoming TV program. What kind of program is it? Unibattle is a brand new show coming to Channel 6. It's the ultimate intelligence test for higher education students. It takes teams from 16 major universities in the UK and matches them up in order to find the ultimate Unibattle champions. During each show, two teams of three battle it out, answering a series of increasingly difficult questions. The questions are specifically designed to test all areas of the student's intelligence. Unibattle is a 30-minute program, and at the end of each program, the teams have the opportunity to win £5,000. But that's not all. Every week, there is a live final where teams can win a trip to any city they wish. Competition is fierce, as every university wants to be crowned Unibattle champion. Starting next week, Unibattle will be broadcast on Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. Then on Friday nights, the excitement comes to boil with the Unibattle Live Special. Starting at 7 p.m., it's definitely worth watching. And if that's not enough, during each show, viewers will have the chance to take part and win cash prizes. All you have to do is answer the question of the day. Send an SMS or an email and you could win £1,000. Unibattle starts Monday at 6. Don't miss it. Unibattle. Uni is short for university. Contestant. Contestant is someone who competes in a contest or competition. University students from. So you need to identify a place here. Next, teams of. Find out the number of contestants in one team. Prizes. What are the prizes if they win this contest? Viewing days. Live show at. You need to identify the exact time you can watch the contest live. View competition via or through. And last one, chance to win. Listen to how much money they can win. Remember, you will need to complete each gap with a word or a short phrase. Now get ready with your pen and paper and let's listen to the audio again. B. Listen again and complete the gaps below. Unibattle is a brand new show coming to Channel 6. It's the ultimate intelligence test for higher education students. It takes teams from 16 major universities in the UK and matches them up in order to find the ultimate Unibattle champions. During each show, two teams of three battle it out, answering a series of increasingly difficult questions. The questions are specifically designed to test all areas of the student's intelligence. Unibattle is a 30-minute program, and at the end of each program, the teams have the opportunity to win £5,000. But that's not all. Every week, there is a live final where teams can win a trip to any city they wish. Competition is fierce, as every university wants to be crowned Unibattle champion. Starting next week, Unibattle will be broadcast on Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. Then on Friday nights, the excitement comes to boil with the Unibattle Live Special. Starting at 7 p.m., it's definitely worth watching. And if that's not enough, during each show, viewers will have the chance to take part and win cash prizes. All you have to do is answer the question of the day. Send an SMS or an email and you could win £1,000. Unibattle starts Monday at 6. Don't miss it. All right, now, did you manage to get all the answers? Let's check the answers together. University students from 16 major universities 
in the UK. Teams of three, or you can write three students. Prizes, £5,000 and city break. Working days, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Live show at 7pm. View competition via SMS and email. Chance to win £1,000. Do you get it all right? Excellent! If you don't, fret not. You can watch this lesson again later and listen to the audio one more time until you can get all the answers correctly. Now, you can continue practicing your speaking skills by talking about game show. Would you be interested in watching or taking part in uni battle? Why or why not? Are there any similar game shows in our country? Take time with your partner to discuss the questions. I'm sure it will be very interesting. Well, that's the end of our lesson. Well done for achieving our learning objectives today. I hope this lesson has helped you to improve your speaking and listening skills. Thank you for joining me today. Have a nice day.